Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is part two uh, of my everything I colored, uh, including whips, including like little blotches, I suppose. So without further ado, um, oh yeah, if you haven't seen the first video, I rec highly recommend it. Uh, but without further ado, uh, I'm, I'm continuing with all the things I actually colored. So, uh, next up is uh, World of Warcraft, an adult coloring book. Now, in this uh, book, I actually think I've done a lot. No, not, not a lot, but I've done some pictures. This one I did with some really crappy uh, pencils that I no longer own and they were like this off-brand pencils. Um, yeah, I, I was really proud of, of, the, of the plant over there because these pencils were so crap. You, you guys have no idea. And then I have done a little bit here, uh, just on the banners, nothing else. Here I was trying out my watercolor pencils. Um, and, uh, and yeah, I was just trying them out to see how it, they would work on this type of paper. And unfortunately, uh, this type of paper does not really go well with, uh, with water. So that is why I've been putting this book off for so long. Because at the time I only had, uh, well, I had these crappy pencils and <laughs> I had my watercolor pencils and of course I wanted to use water with my watercolor pencils. Um, let's see, what else have I done in this one? I, I did this one when I got my, my polychromos. So I was super happy with the way they laid down on this paper. Uh, yeah, what else? I have a finished picture. Here. And I used polychromos and I used some white gel pen. And uh, I'm, I'm super proud of this one, how it turned out. And uh, this is my work in progress. And I use some, uh, some I use, only use some uh, polychromos and white gel pen. <laughs> and I try to do this new technique where I blend pencils with, um, with an, with an uh, alcohol marker blender. And I did a little bit here just to see how it turned out. And then I turned the page and then I saw it sort of you know went through a little bit of the color and I was like no I'm not going to do that I'm not gonna you know um expose my my pressure precious World of Warcraft book to that so so next up uh, we have Fantasia by by Nicholas F. Chandrawaynata. Um, hope I pronounced that right. And uh, I did this one. Uh, and I used Paul Rubens regular watercolors as a base. And then on top of that, I did uh, with, uh, with polychromos. And then I blend smoothen the pencil out with um, with a blenderless with a colorless marker alcoholic marker and then I use some of the Paul Rubens uh, glitter uh, watercolor mm. 
Next up, we got this one. I did this one with uh, with the Koi Norse watercolor pencils and some white gel pen. This one was entirely with polychromos and and some white gel pen. Have I done something else? <laughs> it's the question of the day. Yeah, I think this is the last one that I then did in this one. And I used entirely Koinor watercolor pencils and uh, a little bit of white gel pen and nothing else. And then I did sort of like a test over here how this paper would take um, would take pro markers and of course it bled through. <laughs> so I'm going to use that that last page as a test page. So we got Mila Murata's Tropical Wonderland Wonderworld. I have no idea what the English title is uh, of this book. Um, but I have done two pictures in this as far as I know of. Um, and I am planning more. So we got this frog I used. What did I use? <laughs> I used polychromos and I used some Kurutake um, watercolor and they're shiny on some of the parts and uh, they're shiny colors. I think the gold, gold color maybe? And then I did, where is it? There it is. This toucan I used fine liners. Uh, Styler Stripe Plus Fine Liners. It was actually quite fun to do this. And yeah, that's the only ones I had in those, that book. Next up, uh, Game of Thrones, the official coloring book. And uh, here we got, I think I only have begun one. It's it's the one with Sansa and I was trying to do as fur as detail as possible you know and, uh, and yeah I use polychromos and I want to continue on this page especially now when Game of Thrones is coming on uh, it's going to be going to start so so yeah that would be great to start up on that page and next up the book of beasts and I only done like one and a half picture in this I got a whip right here and I did this with I think I used Faber-Castell classic color pencils and this page i don't know if i can get this fully in frame i used entirely um what was it yeah koi norman's loose watercolor pencils and my idea for this page was actually that i wanted to have like different parts of the day around the tree and uh, so i sort of checked up when these um mythological creatures were active during the day for like a werewolf they are very active during the night and uh, trolls uh, are really you know active during twilight and dusk uh, and dawn and dusk and and yeah so that's that that's the that, that was that batch of coloring books so I'm going going to get the next next one and I'll see you in a second 
so I'm back uh, and next up we got uh, Knights and Armors by a a G Smith and here I actually done one even though my boyfriend wants me to color more in this book because it's got armors and knights as the, as the title um, says and it is this one I used the uh, Faber-Castell classic colored pencils Next up we got relaxation from the diabetes wellness um, organization I guess and because it's just a lot of stock photos in this one I just thought and they are single sided I just been using um, like Stylers and Tri Plus ordinary markers and uh, and yeah and I just been you know when I just wanted to uh, straight color things this one was actually a lot of fun to do and um, yeah I think that was that nothing more in that one Godnesses by Marty Noble um, I don't know what it is but every time I start a page in this I feel like it just comes out flat and that makes me not to want to color this in this one um, but yeah so we got this one um, I did the skin and the hair and then I felt like no I don't want to continue and uh, the same with same with this one same with Aphrodite I felt like no I, I don't want to continue after that I did her skin and that's that it's such a shame because I really like the concept of the book but I don't know, there's something with her art style that doesn't really speak to me. I don't know. People are different. Uh, here I done a little bit of uh, the puffins in Arctic and Antarctic Life by Ruth Suffer. And, uh, and yeah, so I did some gesso, um, I did some gesso over this so it could handle wet media and it got a little, I don't know what it was, I think the gesso I used was extremely rough. Uh, so, so yeah, so everything I've been using on this, like, I'm afraid that it will destroy my coloring supplies <laughs> but yeah I've done just a little bit of the puffins and yeah that's that in this book but I want to color more in this and uh, next up we got Dragonology I have no idea who the author uh, who the um, who the artist is but I did this one with, I did the background with acrylic paint or an acrylic wash and I did the body of the dragon with Koinor, no I think everything else is Koinor Mandalus watercolor pencils and I don't think I did any shading, no I didn't and yeah and uh, the spots on the egg and on his wings are metallic. I think it's big metallic markers. Then this one entirely with uh, color watercolor pencils. And and this one also uh, watercolor pencils. And 
I think I use yeah I use some white gel pen on the scales and uh, I use here in the corner I use some I think that is big metallic markers yeah and that's that in this book uh, next up we have Secret Garden by Hannah Bursford and I did the This Book Belongs to page. I did it with, uh, let me think, I think I did it with, yeah, I did it with Polychromos the green. I did it with Polychromos, then I used watercolor pencils um, for the flowers and then for um then for the tiny details i use some styler fine liners and uh, that's sort of the same thing i've been doing in uh, lost ocean and then i did one page in the back It is this one. I did it with polychromos and some uh, fine outliners. And I don't know why. I, I I like World of Flowers a lot more than than uh, Secret Garden. There are a few pictures in here that I actually like and want to color, but I guess I only bought this one because it was on sale. Let me see if I can try and find um, some of the pictures that I actually want to color. Uh, like this picture right here. This picture reminds me a lot of my my dad because he was a gardener and he had like all these random, you know, gardening pots everywhere. And uh, yeah, it smelled like dirt. Every time he sat at the kitchen table repotting plants, so, so yeah. And next up we have Johanna Bassford, uh, World of Flowers. Now this one I like a lot better than Secret Garden. In my eyes, this is what Secret Garden should have been. Um, might be a little bit harsh, but that's my personal opinion. Uh, so yeah, all I did was this flower right here with polychromos because I I couldn't sleep that night. So so yeah, <laughs> that's the only thing I did in World of Flowers at the moment. And uh, next up we got Romantic Country and I the second tale and it's by Eerie. And I recently started this picture for Easter. Uh, I don't know what it is, but right now I really want to do Easter pictures. Um, so I've just started to do the eggs and, uh, and yeah, so that's that. Uh, it's going to be really colorful when I'm finished with it, far more colorful than I anticipated when I started this, but now I'm realizing this is going to be like an explosion of colors, more or less. Um, next up we have Imagimorphia by Car Kirby Rose Sands. And I think I have two pictures in this. Here's something I've just, that I've started a long time ago and never finished. And this one was a, uh, oh yeah, the ones in uh, Romantic Country was with Polychromos, if you guys wonder. And uh, the be beginning of this book was also Polychromos. But yeah, uh, this one is entirely done with uh, Polychromos. And, uh, and yeah, and nothing else. And, and I did this for a color long for some 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 Facebook group. And uh, this swallow I started with polychromos long ago, and I've sort of 
come back to it a couple of times and uh, and yeah it's sort of a work in progress that I know it's going to take a lot of times sometimes I'm just gonna go into it and do some more and then it's gonna take some time before I, I do it again and you know we all have those pictures that, that we know is going to be works in progress for a long long time and lastly, um, let's see if I can find it or have I skipped it? I think I accidentally skipped it. Oh, it was right here. Um, so yeah, so this one I did with polychromos. Um, I don't think I used something else. But I did this as a body color with Shaleen. So, so yeah. Uh, her, her did turn out good as well. Next up we have Methamorphia with Kirby Roussans. Roussans or Roussanis or what you want to call him. Uh, we got this one. Uh, this one was extremely... I don't know why, but it was really relaxing because I did the background with this acrylic wash and uh, and then I shaded it with... I actually shaded it with uh, every single stone I shaded with um, Koinor, um, Mondaloo's watercolor pencils. And everything else I did with Mondaloo's watercolor pencils. Um, so, so yeah, so the only thing that is somewhat different is that I used a, I used a black fineliner for the text. And then I also used some white gel pens and some of the creature's eyes actually have some metallic color. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I used some big metallic um, for some of the creature's eyes. This one took a lot of time to do because I was sort of on and off of it a lot. And I used, uh, I used watercolor pencils for this one and some white gel pen. And I really like how it turned out to the end. And next up we have this one, the Jackalope. This was actually the first picture I did in uh, Mythomorphia because I really, really like Jackalopes. And I, oh yeah, I think I have this as a speed coloring on my channel. So if you guys want to check that out, you can just find it somewhere <laughs> uh, but anyway I think I entirely did this one in uh, Koi Norman loose watercolor pencils and then then I did some white gel pen in the background uh, this was my first attempt to ever do this bokeh effect and I did everything on this page with um with i wanted to say koinor but that's not true i did this entire picture with the polychromos and i did this for a color along that Shaleen had i want to say she had it last year but it might have been two years ago i'm not really sure to be honest uh, this was in the same color along uh, and I used polychromos for his beard and uh, the background was a black acrylic wash and the rest I used white gel pen and yeah I did use polychromos for everything else that isn't black on this picture Do I have something? Yeah. Uh, this one is a work in progress, uh, 
and uh, I thrown out the color that I was doing the background with so I have no idea if I'm going to do going to be able to finish this um, because I don't have the color <laughs> um, for it maybe it will be a different shade if I try to blend that color again um, but but yeah we'll, we'll see if I'm going to be able to finish this or it's going to just look weird so so the background is a acrylic wash with a little bit of um, you know the airbrush colors and uh, I have a glittery one for some reason so I use that to do the background on that and uh, this one I did with a acrylic wash for the background and then I used polychromos to shade a bit in the background and do the Minotaur in that. And the rose. Do I have anything else? Oh yeah, I have the Yeti. Here I was trying out my Kuretake uh, watercolors um, for the first time. Let's see if I have something else in here. Oh yeah, this one was entirely in polychromos and I used some white gel pen. This was actually the first picture I used uh, polychromos in. So I was just starting to try them out. I actually was quite impressed that it, uh, that it get, got so good. <laughs> And I don't think I have anything else. Yeah, nothing else. And lastly, Mythia Morphia by Cabrillo Sands. I've done two pictures. This one is a picture that I did with a marker base and then I shaded with polychromos on top and I used some white gel pens. And I also used some black fine liner for the text. And this one was just a straight color of pro markers and just a tiny bit of white gel pen. So I see you guys in the next video.